my beautiful beings welcome and welcome back to putting out what you have clicked on so i've i keep hearing that the channel message that somebody's money magic is very powerful and very long um i feel like maybe you're at this threshold in a sense of kind of like what next steps you want to take that aligns with your true will um i know some people may hear you know a lot of people say in the spiritual community talking about free will but i feel like this next uh cycle that you're going through collective is really about what true what your true will means to you and what um what you're willing to commit to on your path of understanding your unconscious mind your psyche the world right around you how you operate in the world so maybe somebody here um with nothing at the bottom maybe kind of you've been working from nothing or working with nothing or it's just i feel like uh, maybe for some of you guys, your spirit squad has kind of created certain moments throughout your day where it's like, it's not that you're not doing anything <laughs> collective. It's just, it's, it's very powerful that you're doing something at a certain time. Or so maybe somebody here, um, cause I don't like to keep talking to riddles all the time. Maybe somebody here, you know, you're not hearing callbacks for jobs. Uh, maybe you're, you know, going on interviews or maybe you're, you feel like anybody even really seeing your resume or if this is like school, maybe school's not going right. Maybe you feel like you need to make some shifts in school, like, or your money is a little funny. It's just like you're in between blessings. I feel like what your spirit squad is really wanting you to understand this next cycle is that from nothing is where everything is born. So some of you guys have some very deep, strong <laughs> financial desires, right? But a lot of it, especially with Venus being a Cancer, a lot of it has to do with security, right? Really making sure that um, this foundation is strong. Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to drop this ball or maybe, um, I don't know who's here. Maybe somebody feels like they're dropping a ball in terms of their career or money or finances in this next cycle is really just showing you that it's not necessarily dropping the ball, 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 ball. <laughs> dropping the ball. Maybe somebody here, you kind of been dropping the ball in the wrong bucket or in the wrong area, or maybe even, um, maybe if some of you guys are doing marketing, maybe you've been, uh, you haven't been hitting the right target audience. I feel like a lot of people can tell you things that you're supposed to do to kind of hit your target audience, but I feel like you discover your target audience internally once you discover what your target is, like what you want, what you desire, you know, if that's, I'm not going to say that on YouTube, what I just heard, but Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if that's just, you know, you wanting things to kind of like, you wanted to be, you want to be at this place of power, or just this place of status in a sense. Like I said, I don't know who's here, honey. I'm seeing people pop in my head. It's so crazy. But I really feel like this next cycle is, especially with secret knowledge coming out here, you have a secret and I have one too. What you're searching for, <laughs> yeah, my spirit's going funny. What you're searching for isn't in a book. Look to the stars in nature's whisper. She holds many tales. 313. So I feel like this next cycle, not just for your money collective, but also for your magic, because I absolutely, and maybe I'll do it here on this channel. I don't know, because y'all, because I'm steady, always trying to figure out what to do. I really want to start talking about more about people's magic. Like if you have a spiritual practice or you do rituals or routines or you're, you're an open practitioner, whether you're a closed practitioner or whether you're um, out in the open or secret or hidden, really wanting those messages to come out um, even deeper because I feel like these next cycle that you're entering is not just about your money, your career, your business or whatever it is you're wanting to hear a message or hear something prosper or pop off what it is is about your magic your power your ability to work that wherever with nothing and kind of like you know kind of like that phrase where they say get it out the mud okay um so i think i said this in a reading maybe that i recorded for my other channel y'all but the dollar has been crashing so i feel like maybe somebody here especially with uranus and taurus and i need to do a reading specifically for that when I'm ready, just making sure that you're kind of looking at the things around you and just understand that everybody has a game. Everybody has a hustle. Everybody has an angle that they are working. But this next cycle is kind of like, what's your angle? What's your hustle? What's your game? Is it legit? If it's legit, okay, own that and put all your energy to it and do what you need to do. Um, if it's not legit, then make sure you got some legit. <laughs> make sure you have something that's legit, okay? Um, because what I really love about secret knowledge, in a sense, is kind of like your spirit squad is showing you that it's not that the way 
hasn't already been made or it's not that they're you're going into so much unknown uncharted territory it's the fact that you can't necessarily pick up this next piece of information from a book or for someone from a, from someone else's experiences this is truly about your own experiences that you're having collective so that may be those long nights those harsh winters <clears throat> That may be feeling lonely, feeling left out on the cold. That may be like you don't know where your next dollar or bag is coming from or money's coming from. That may mean like applying for something that's way out of your reach <laughs> or way out of your comfort zone because your spirit squad is wanting you to understand that. For someone here watching this reading, um, and this may not be everybody's situation because I'm very conscious that everybody doesn't have this luxury and it is surely a luxury to always be good in some way, shape or form. And by me always being, by me saying always being good, that can relate to food, water, shelter, right? Information, the internet, right? Wi-Fi, even clothes, right? Nails. I mean, these kids, but kids be doing a damn thing. So I really feel like somebody here is just like the gratitude that your, your spirit squad knows in your heart that you're expressing in a way that makes sense for you is really coming to the surface this next 24 hours. So you can start having fun now. You can start celebrating now. You can start celebrating with your desired people now, okay? Because it says celebrate alone or with someone close, but I really feel like your spirit squad this next 24 hours just kind of like reflect on where you come from because so many times in the hustle for more, we, we forget to stop and look back and be like, damn, at least I came from here or at least I came from that. Um, a little tidbit, you know, for somebody out there. Okay. Um, maybe somebody here is, I'm hearing a beginner witch. I really don't understand why people use the terms like beginner or baby witch, because once you kind of decide in your spirit that this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You kind of open up your solar plexus to like this rush of, excuse me, confidence and empowerment. Or maybe somebody, some of you guys, this is the energy that you're working in this next 24 hour cycle and how that's kind of firing you up to take new leaps, to reach for new goals. Um, okay. To set new goals. Uh-oh. It's been a while since I recorded for this channel. And I'm trying to find a balance of like, I, I think I understand like, why I'm so obsessed with money outside of astrology. Because sometimes I be trying to understand stuff outside of astrology. Um, so I know a lot of people say like, oh, don't worry about money all the time, money and everything. But you know, we live on earth, right? We still got to pay, but we have things that we're responsible for. You want to make sure you're financially good and secure. However, I grew up in a household environment where it just kind of felt, I always, and me and my sister talked about this, so if y'all watching the reading, hey, <laughs> but me and my sister talked about this, kind of how we always grew up, like, hearing our mother, like, talking about debt, like, just debt, 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 and my a modern day, right now, I have accrued a hefty amount of debt for myself, I'm not... I'm not like trying to sell nobody like no snake oil, like no smoke or anything like that. Like everything that I've done and created has been from me and from the experiences that I have gone through. But I realized this morning, I'm like, no, bro, like your money magic works, it works really well. It's just the attachment that I have to money specifically. And I'm giving my personal experience for someone that they may can relate to um is rooted in such unhealthiness that it's like I know I'm capable of more because I've seen more and I've witnessed more for myself. However, it's like when I when I step away from focusing on it, I, I feel as if something is wrong. I feel as if something has robbed me. Um in this next 24 hours for those of you guys that vibe with that, really just letting kind of like that that solar plexus like heal on its own or um dissolve any of those shadows and insecurities so money can flow to you. Money will flow to you and continuously flow. Okay, so we have the eight of gourds, all right. Definitely a lot of protection around your money, a lot of protection around your heart. But then but to me, this is also like resting in what you love to do. So many times a big part of our struggle, especially in career, money, and business that I find me, me, my opinion, <laughs> my thoughts, um, 
when we don't rest in what we love to do, what we love to understand, study, absorb, when we're constantly pushing it away, we're experiencing kind of like that shadowy energy of the the eight of gourds. It's like where we don't have this mutual feeling of what it is that we love is even worth our time pursuing, where we don't feel like our money and our business or career endeavors are unprotected. When we feel like we're not entering new cycles, when in reality we are, we're entering them faster. <laughs> um, so I really just feel like this next cycle, right, or at least this week or the week ahead, whatever um, spirit wants to do with this reading, is really just about kind of finding that comfort in the fact that I've I've mastered what I love. And now it's time for me to release it. It's time for me to grow it. It's time for me to study and edify it, whoever that is for. Maybe you haven't mastered what you love. So spirit is like, okay, it's time for you to get back into it. It's time for you to buy one product or two. Maybe... um work yeah dang it maybe work on getting one thing off the ground or all of them i always love glossier story you guys because she launched i think it's a she what the fuck can i get this card launched with a <laughs> oh it's two cards she launched with just four products so more gourds coming out more gourds a lot of emotion a lot of love six of staffs six of staffs coming out here i'm being nosy interesting you know the the story of the six of staffs is always kind of surrounded by what I like to think as victory. He doesn't look very victorious on this picture. He looks like kind of like, so it's kind of giving me the vibe of like the seven. What comes after the six is the seven of wands. Like, you know, you have to protect your assets, stand your ground. Like, you know, you got to fight for what you want. You're, you're being brave and courageous. But here with the six of staffs, this may be hitting you and a boo. Those of you guys that are in union relationships, marriage, it just kind of feels like, again, you guys are, or somebody here, like the energy is being exerted. The energy is being exerted in a sense like you you still don't know what you're up against. You know that you you keep going or you don't even know what blessings are on the other side um, of understanding that it's your true will that's wanting to come to the surface. Yeah, maybe it is coming from a nothing moment, right? Um <laughs> Yeah, I I find that my biggest wounds in money in my gifts is is my parents. And you know, a lot of people will say like I'm a lot of people could say like I'm too old to feel that way. However, it's like and I had told my mom this, so it's not like I'm saying anything on the internet that I didn't say to her. I think it was last week that I told her, I said, when you have the first person that's in your life that you that you are supposed to give all your trust, belittle and, and criticize every little thing that you do, it's kind of like, yeah, you get to the point where you have to speak up for yourself. Some of you guys in this, thank you, Spirit, this was a download that came to me earlier that I completely forgot to write down. Some of you guys, in terms of like your career, your money, your business, your purpose, what you're supposed to be doing, some people are telling, can tell you based on certain astrological placements, you're supposed to do this. For example, somebody, some, everybody says that Mercury and the 12 house are famous writers. I have to sit down and talk. <laughs> I have to sit down and talk to get these messages out. My writing, um, I find that when I do write, I, I really, I don't like to write like readings. I don't like to, I like to write poetry when I'm, when that is flowing through me, but I like more scientific writing, like academia writing. So that doesn't benefit me. I mean, right now it doesn't benefit me. So I don't put my all into it. So I feel like what some of you guys um, are waking up to or revelations that you may be having, or whenever this finds somebody out here in the internet space, it's kind of like, I, 
even even people in what I believe, even people in the sectors or the magic or the realms or money or love, whatever I believe, everybody has different ideologies and beliefs. Everybody. And it's like you can you can create your own. You are from nothing. Literally, you are from nothing. But a lot of it, I feel like a uh, collective has to do with just truly embracing what you love. Maybe this is a fear of change. Maybe you're afraid of losing. Um, maybe somebody need a vacation. I need a vacation. Child. <laughs> and what what this what these energies is doing in a sense, I really feel like it's just bringing out your um your deepest desires for what it is that has always been emotionally fulfilling for you. Some of you guys, if y'all out here scheming and scamming, that's emotionally fulfilling for you. I can't even fault you for that. If some of you guys out here, you just, you know, you want your big break, like you want to make it, you want somebody to tell you you're going to be rich, you want this confirmation, you want to, you just, you have to do, you really have to do. And here you have a lot of energy around you and inside of you flowing for you to just do, right? Um, I, I think I'm going to put this on my main channel um, because I realized, and I'm glad all this water came out because I realized that... Um, Psychic attacks are not just mental. They are much, much so very emotional, can be very emotional. Or if someone's projecting onto you, very watery energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, projecting their feelings onto you from what it is that they're afraid of or what they have, they they feel that they've had to sacrifice. You know, it's kind of how you're going down a path of wonky wonky. So... <sighs> I feel like this confusion around the path that you are supposed to take is what is kind of coming to the certain, not kind of, what is coming to the surface, this next cycle to just dissolve out. Because it's like, you know, I, you, I feel like somebody here, you're trying to be everything to everyone. And honey, that's not what your heart wants you to do. That's not what your spirit wants you to do. And once you understand that it's time to release the things. Ah, oh, this reading kind of sounds like a reading I did before, but anyways, um, uh, maybe I'll try to remember to link it because it's over on my gum road. Um, you've been held back for this moment in time, something like that, because it feels like now you're in this cycle of the awareness, like, wow, I, okay. I, I tied a big part of my identity to these decisions, to these places, to these people, to these things. And now I've outgrown that. I've evolved that. So now I need to move beyond that. And that's scary, right? Like I I recently pieced together a personal situation of my own. Like, wow, you're chasing this because you were chasing this four years ago because you were running from that. So I'm like, now here you are. Meeting this resistance, it it doesn't feel right. It feels like I, I don't know how I can say this with keeping people's identities <laughs> under wraps. It feels like somebody that's supposed to be like guiding me. It has like a knife to my throat, and I'm like, bro, like what happened? Like what switched up? Like what changed? And with this gourds, all this gourds here, um, because I'm just reminding myself I am still kind of talking about career and money and self. It's like what it is, or this is magic. Your your magic is amplified in your water, bodies of water. It's like it's like at one point you were so sure about the path that you were on. It kind of like disturbs somebody's spirit to the point where they just spew this negativity, or this is still happening, spewing this negativity. And then it's kind of making it a little hard for you to like regroup and pick up the pieces to be like, no, like my, my I'm ten toes down in this. So okay, I'm gonna get my money real quick. This, this reading has been weird. <laughs> you know why I think it's weird, you guys? Because like I I be thinking that I'm recording for my other channel. And I literally just said this morning, like, oh, I know what I can do with that channel, because I'm I'm not a quitter, y'all. <laughs> I have Venus in the first house. Okay, I am very committed to making sure that I'm not giving up on things. Um, this deck, I don't have this deck anywhere. I think I don't. But this is another deck that I have, you guys, that I created. So I just, I don't think it's, 
I don't think it's anywhere. I'm working on that. But this one is... <sighs> this one's somewhere. Y'all find it. <laughs> People find me when they want to tell me what they really feel about me. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if you guys can't find something. But I'm trying to get everything organized. My... My Virgo moon in my draconic chart, as I'm publicly saying that, is really like, okay, so we just going to keep living our life in this disarray and chaos. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, why do I have this sudden urge to organize and get things planned or make sure I'm executing this on this day and that day? That's what that's coming from. So really just... um. Really just pay attention. Need a return to sender. I saw that. Really just pay attention to what your um your spirit is telling you. Your heart. Your heart and soul. So we have $5,000 payout. I've been seeing this forever. They plan. Work your magic on this situation. Okay, that was the whole point of this reading. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are receiving double. Maybe this is an expected payout and you're looking for unexpected payouts. This is the unexpected amount. $200,000 payout, flex your creative muscles harder. Okay, so maybe some of you guys, this $200,000 payout is coming through your creativity or coming through something that you've been creatively working on or creatively charging energy and intention into. Um, maybe for some of you guys, ah, because I'm starting to feel some. Maybe some of you guys are doing sex magic too because I'm starting to feel like maybe this is coming through for you and your partner or your spouse. Oh, I just saw 2121. So you and your partner. Um. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, <laughs> I mean, all over the place, y'all. But I hope this reading made sense for today in Wizard School because even though I changed the name of my channel, Loki, it is still Lily's Wizard School. So I love you guys. I hope this helps somebody in some way, shape, or form that you were able to extract something from this reading. If you feel like you need to work with me privately because my general collective reading seems to be all over the fucking place, I understand that. I do feel like it can be all over the place a little bit sometimes too, but I like that because I'm all over the place. Uh, holding the 12th house is not easy. Honestly, holding any house is not easy, but I, I feel like a big part of my chaos is a lot of there's a lot going on in here and up here um so i do offer private readings you can find i think they're on my gum roll the majority of my private readings along with custom readings are on my gum road etsy is more so where my oracle decks are um i'm still kind of testing out having certain different things in different spaces um but that is how you can find my services if you want to email me um, I think, uh oh, I think you find that through the tab over on YouTube. If anybody emails me, if you have any readings that you would like me to do, um, shoot me an email. Like, if you email me, so email me something that sounds and feels completely crazy, I am not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Um, but yeah, I. I'm still undecided about pick a card readings, you guys, but I really love these collective readings and I'm really just trying to merge my two channels together because there is so much that I have to read and so much that I have to do. And I'm I'm really getting excited for like my spirit squad is kind of like resting me in that chapter of like divination and doing readings where it's like, okay, it's okay for you to take a break, absorb some information, take notes, pick it apart, right? And then come back. So Okay. All right. Toodles.